How do people smoke? It's so bad for you. You're gonna die. And it's, it's not even, it doesn't even taste good. I mean, I see people starting their day with smoking a cigarette. Do you not love your body? Come on. I mean, there are certain things you might want to do like once that are bad for you or every once in a week or month or whatever. But every day, multiple times, back to Bremen. While editing this vlog right now, two days after, I obviously realized that I never ever filmed the second part of this transition. But you know, whatever, we can still do that, okay? So let's just replay that clip. I'm gonna do that here and then we're back here. So roll the clip again. Back to Bremen. Whoa, <laughs> back to the timeline. So on the bus ride, I, I watched the, the Joe Rogan interview with Elon Musk. It's a long one, it's like two and a half hours and I'm glad I had a bus drive happening when that interview came out because otherwise I probably never would have taken that time but I mean it was fascinating for me it was the first time that I really like had a long like consumed any long form stuff by or with Elon Musk and getting to know him a bit and How's mind works kind of thing, by the way, if you, you should maybe watch it. I mean, it's a long episode and I don't want to make assumptions about like what you watch, but it's fascinating stuff, so I can recommend it in, in general, the Joe Rogan experience. But one thing that definitely, like at the end of the whole thing, towards the end, Joe Rogan starts making a lot of assumptions about Elon Musk's personality which got never confirmed by Elon so that kind of bumped me but um I mean Elon Musk is like he's probably one in a billion personality right I mean there there's only like literally a handful of people who do things on on the scale that Elon does. I mean, he's fucking sending people to Mars. There are not a lot of people who are sending people to Mars. But then, he's just a pretty regular guy if you watch the interview. They sip whiskey together. Elon Musk take a, takes a, a hit of a blunt or, or joint or whatever it's called that um, Joe gave him. So, I mean, he is special in the way that he definitely has a lot of ideas running through his head. That was like one of the themes. Apparently, he constantly is thinking about ideas and innovations. I mean, he's pretty much the Nikola Tesla of our generation or the Edison. You know, there are these certain like visionaries of a generation. Um, that just invent shit and move humanity forward. So what is it that creates this one in a billion personality that just like one person that moves humankind as a race forward? It's kind of an interesting question. If you figure out how to like do that and replicate that for a person, if you're able to create an Elon Musk, who obviously isn't an exact replica, um, but just someone who is like willing to do the impossible and just thinks big and goes after it and wants to be useful for humanity, that that first things that Elon said, like he he just wants to be useful to other people. If you can figure out how to replicate that for people and create an Elon Musk, that's like hands down the most impactful thing that anyone can do, right? Like no matter what a single person can do, if you figure out how to make people believe in themselves enough that they go after these things, There's really no bigger impact. Like, straight up. 
I don't know. It's interesting though. Hey mom, what do you say that they didn't accept my visa? What, <laughs> what does that mean? My oh, mom's getting mad. I should be mad. My visa didn't get accepted. What do you say that my visa didn't get accepted? <laughs> no comment. <sighs> now you see why, why, why this family is not good for vlogging. Just wanted to sign off. Um, good night. Oh yeah, Jay's coming tomorrow. Hard to wake up when there's no alarm to wake you up. Sitting, breathing, doing.